Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dan with Unsilent Majority TV. And I want to do a different video today. As you know, I'm all about proof. You know, it's not about what we believe, it's what we can prove, right? Just like Planate Veritas always says on his videos. And that's what I'm all about. You know, evidence and proof that we can present to other people to help them wake up and see what's going on. Now, today's video is not going to be on the flat earth. Because like I said, I think that we have plenty of evidence here on the table. And I always welcome any new evidence. So all I'm, I'm just all about waking up more people to that topic. And getting the numbers we need to get people to realize it's time to go and explore. And fully explore where we live. So this message, this is why it stays right here at the top of my video list. That's where I'm at. And that's where I will continue to be. And as I see... Any new evidence that I think is very strong, uh, as far as you know, something that can help people understand what's going on, I will present that here, whether it's my own evidence or something done by someone else. So today's topic is going to be a little different. Um, I want to go into what's known as the Mandela Effect today. I have not done a formal video on that topic. All I have done here really was mirror a video that I had seen in the past. Um, that kind of summarize most of the, the common Mandela effects, okay? And why do I want to cover the Mandela effect? Um, mainly, I want to cover it because it's, an, it's another way to wake people up. So they can, you know, if they don't get the flat earth at first up front, if they don't understand that something's going on there, this might be something that can reach them, that can trigger them to start thinking outside the box and see that we have a problem, that we are being deceived, manipulated, and lied to by criminals. Okay, you know, as you know, 9-11 and all those other things were basically the same concept as a flat earth. You know, for anybody that's awake that this is not your first rodeo, you know, as well as I do, that the flat earth was, you know, creates a lot of cognitive dissonance. And that's nothing new if you were trying to wake up people to other conspiracies along the line, you know, along, along the line in the past. Okay, 9-11, Sandy Hook, all that stuff. It's the same thing. It's just that Flat Earth is the mother of all conspiracies. Now, Mandela was kind of something that was... I took notice to it at the same time as the Flat Earth, of course. And there, I guess there was people that had noticed it maybe before Flat Earth or were looking into it prior to, you know, to Flat Earth becoming something that went really viral here on YouTube, right? Or becoming a topic. So, um, it is its own thing, but it, it also helps prove that something's going on, you know, that something's amiss here and, and, and people need to take a look. So what I did uh, in the past was I, I shared a video here. I mirrored a video. Let me see if I can pull it up. I don't know how many of you have seen it. You know, it's a mirrored video by the Red Pill um, esoteric detective. It's called the Red Pill Mandela Effect documentary. It, it highlights a lot of the common things like you know, for Empire Strikes Back, Luke, I am your father, or no, I am your father. Uh, the one about JFK being a six or four passenger vehicle. All right. I remember it as a four, you know. Uh, but see, here's what I want to say right now up front about the Mandela effect. And, you know, there are this this type of situation creates. Um, it creates the ability for. Like once you notice an effect or something that has changed that is real personal to you, you might start thinking other things have changed that might not have necessarily changed. Like there's people that say Mac McDonald's was McDonald's, you see. And I just kind of look at it as a pronunciation of McDonald's as McDonald's, right? And that can happen across the board with many of these. But, you know, when you have a, a memory that you know personally for sure that you remember... I, I, I'm very good with memory. I can remember things very well. And I know most of these effects, especially like Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Luke, I Am Your Father, I know that one for certain. I know many of them, but I wasn't, I'm not about to say like I know for sure all of them. I'm pretty certain about Looney Tunes. I was pretty certain about um, Chick-fil-A and, and many of the other ones, the biblical ones, of course. I'm very certain that it was a lion and not a wolf. Very certain on that, and, and some of the other biblical changes, I'm pretty sure that they have changed somehow, some way. Now, the next point I want to cover here is that I don't think that it's important to necessarily focus our energies 
if you're going to look into this particular effect, the, ener the energy needs to be focused on directing people to see this is happening, not how is this happening, because that's where the problem comes in. That's where the divide and conquer starts coming in. People start arguing back and forth about, are we in another reality? Do we have multiple, you know, multiple planes, multiple existences, all this stuff. You start getting, it starts getting too complex and you come down all these different roads and people start arguing about how it's being done, whether than who's doing it or focusing on who's doing it. And that's where we need to focus the energy. So what I'm about to do today is just share some video footage from another channel, Scare Performance. Maybe some of you have, that watch videos here on YouTube, maybe you've already come across this. If not, this is going to be pretty eye-opening to you if you've been looking at Mandela Effect because, as you know, I'm all about, you know, what we can prove and, and you know, what type of hardcore evidence we can present to others to show them that, you know, what's going on. So here we go. Let's get to it. So the Mandela Effect, you know, Red, po Red Pill Mandela Effect uh, documentary is a good one here if you want to get familiar with some of the common Mandelas. You can watch it here on my channel. That's what it's called. Um, but if you've been looking into many of them and you're familiar with a lot of them, then if you haven't seen this video, I think you should check it out. These videos here by Scare Performance. So as you see here, Scare Performance, this is his channel, and he does a lot of videos on Mandela Effect, all right? And these are the two videos I want you guys to check out. And this is the U.S. Patent Office, and these people have to get it right in the U.S. Patent Office, all right? This has to have been done right. It has to, this has... This means that these things had to have existed. It's not. It, it means that the people that have been claiming to have remembered these things to be a certain way, these particular effects or whatever, that they weren't crazy. People trying to call people crazy over it. it this this topic, like any other conspiracy, creates a lot of division, a lot of you know divide and conquer. But here we go. Here's some evidence that you could show to others if you've been trying to wake people up through the avenue of the Mandela effect. Check this out. Hey, party people. Man, hope everybody's doing good right now. Um, I just wanted to, you know, make this quick video and I want to show everybody their old reality and show you that there are places out there that are still, uh, where it's still available. And I found something kind of interesting. So I'm going to show you what's going on with this and provide some links and uh, let all the researchers out there see what's happening with this because I found it to be uh, quite amazing right so he's gonna go here basically and he's gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna play the whole video here but what I want to do here is get into yeah I want you to go and subscribe and watch the whole video but he's looking at some pictures here of different things um, and analyzing them you know like whether or not these purple tree you know different things here he'll go he'll get into all right um, but you can go watch it. But I wanna, what I want to do here is get into where he got into the um, into the U.S. Patent Office. So let me get it right to that point. All right. So this is what I want to show you guys. Um, all right. We are at USPTO.gov. Okay. This United States Patent Office. And, and you guys can all, we can all visit this site. I've done it myself already. I've looked at it and confirmed that these that you can actually find what he's doing here so everybody can do this you can repeat this and use this tool uh to your advantage right now you know use this as something that you can wake others up to this particular effect and then it might be a way like for people that have had a lot of cognitive dissonance or you know don't want to hear you about the flat earth or anything else this i find has been a lot easier to get people that you would never think interested in this type of stuff interested you know like if you tell someone like a younger person, for instance, about mirror, mirror on the wall, okay, versus magic mirror on the wall. That has triggered a lot of people, in my experience, to be like, what? What are you talking about? That was always mirror, you know, but it's one of those things where even, you know, some people will go down the road, well, maybe it's just a bad memory, you know what I mean? So it, it has that effect, but when you can start showing this type of residual evidence here, or this evidence like this, hardcore evidence, that we weren't just making this up or people weren't, aren't just crazy. Now, granted, I'm not going to say every effect that people have shown. There's been some. I've seen a few that, you know, I know for for sure they're just people either creating, fabricating some just to get some views or or maybe they just are mis you know, misremembering, you know. And then, of course, 
these individuals also say, well, in my reality, it was this. You see, they start going into the in my reality thing and all this, and they're automatically starting to push the concept of, well, or pushing it out there that they kind of understand why this is happening. When we don't really, we cannot sit here and say we know how the elite criminal scum are doing this. We can come up with the clues like CERN, and we can come up with all of that. And and I'll show. I'm gonna do another video after this. My next video tomorrow. I'm gonna. I have. See, I waited for a while. Talk about Mandela, but I do have a a like a a plan in my mind of how I was gonna present this here on my channel. And this is actually great that this this video came out because. It, it opens up the topic in the way that I want to present it in a way that has solid proof for people to actually look at and consider. And then I'm going to show you why I have always kept the Mandela on the back burner, knowing it's something that is important and it's a clue as to, not a clue, but a another way to show people that we have criminal elite uh, that are lying and deceiving and manipulating us and uh, creating divide and conquer is why I've always held on to this topic and I've always known it's something real important and I want to show you why I know that this is this is the one video here that proved that this was going on and I'll show you why and I'll break it down um, but I want you to understand something here with the Mandela effect I want to explain one more one more point before we go on here and you'll see scared performance when he does this I'm one of the first things he looks up, which is J.C. Penny. He'll talk about, you know, he'll say, to be fair, he did find the other spelling as well. So he probably was able to find J.C. Penny with the E, you know, and he also found it without the E, right? And to me, that just says that likely you're going to see the latest changes, and you're going to see the old, you know, you're going to see the old version and see the new version. And there's a reason why it ha they want it like that. In my opinion, as so, it causes div division and it causes problems and it and it causes a confusion needed to make this something that just drives people away, angers people, and they fight back and forth, you know, based on what they think it was because they've seen the you know the latest change, and then when you say no, it was never like that, and you tell them it was always the other way, then you know it becomes an issue, and it becomes something to argue back and forth about rather than understanding that this is really going on and there have been changes and why are these changes taking place you see the most important thing to remember is if you can't look through history and see that this has been changed or, or a particular logo or a particular phrase or slogan or whatever it is that you're looking at has changed for a reason if you can't see that documentation of that being done for instance the biggest example of that the one that I always like to reference is the Ford logo the little squiggly line and I'll show a picture here in the video um, this squiggly line was never in, you know, in this logo. And, you know, if you look throughout history, this was always in there. And there's no documentation or there's no evidence of it being changed for any reason. So let me show you why this Mandela effect is something I consider very important. And I think it's a great tool to wake others up. Although you're going to have to kind of explain to people how this works because they may find evidence of the changes. Um, as well as the old version or the version that you remember and that can cause a problem it can cause a rift and it can cause people to to focus on fighting back and forth whether or not the version of what they remember versus the change is is the reality you see and that's that's the whole point that's the division that's the division that this creates between people and we got to understand it's the same criminal element that's behind all of this all the false flags everything else and of course, they're the ones that would lie about where we live as well. Same, I mean, it's all tied in. It's all tied in together. So this is called Happy at CERN. We are happy at CERN. Now, if you guys have been looking at this, you might have already seen this. All right. But they're here dancing. See, it's like a commercial. And you can find this at the Large Hadron Collider channel on YouTube. You can find this video there. You see? So they're over here dancing. All right, real fun, having a little party here, right? It's real exciting. But somewhere down here, let me see, I think it's right around this area. I'm gonna fast forward here. All right, see this scientist guy sitting in here with all these papers? Do you see that? What does this sign say right here? Bond one, right? Bond one and Mandela. 
Barry Nelson was in the first James Bond movie. So you got Nelson Mandela. We were happy at CERN. Thumbs up. It's likely that this dude right here, okay, knows that this particular scenario was going to be playing out. That's what it tells me. You see, it's a big joke in everybody's face. That's how they do things. That's how the criminal elite roll. And I'm sure a lot of you saw, you know, some of the things that were going on outside of CERN. Um, at one point that was going on, there were some videos on it. There's like a mock human sacrifice type thing happening outside. So, you know, we clearly got something going on here with this. And likely, it's very likely that CERN is behind part of this. And, you know, but I'm not going to say with any degree of certainty or try and sit here and say, well, this is how it's happening, because that's not the point. The point is not figuring out how it's being done right now. The point is proving that it's being done and using this type of thing, this type of a, this type of event that, that they're using against us, using it against them and showing the people, waking the people up that this is happening and, you know, waking them up to everything, especially the lie about where we live. That's real important. That's the biggest. Okay. Now, if you get into the Mandela, you're going to see people are noticing geographical changes and everything else. All right, I'm not going to cover any of those on this particular video, but that has been something that people have noticed. All right, whether whether or not those are legit, I don't know. I'm not really concerned. That I do notice changes that you know things don't look right on the maps, but I'm not even concerned because, in my opinion, we don't really have an accurate representation of where we live because we need to go fully explore. So I'm not even worried about it. I just feel like this whole thing is a great tool to wake people up. And get them to understand that something's going on. All right. If they're not able to look at flat earth, at least maybe they can look at this. So remember, the first James Bond movie, and then you got Mandela right there. They're pretty happy at CERN, goofing around, thinking that they know, you know, pretty much in the know that something's going to be going on. Okay. So that's why I've always held on to this, and I've been waiting for a little while to kind of do my own video going into a full explanation on what I think about this. I'm waiting for a way to tie it in to my presentations here on my channel i was going to do it on my old channel but you know i waited for a while and when i watched these videos by scary performance it uh it got me thinking that it's time to do a video on this topic so yeah pretty happy right there he's pretty happy at cern right he's pretty happy all right so you can go see that video on youtube man See, there it is, Mandela Bond 1, all right? That's what we get. So go look it up. The first James Bond movie, the very first one, see who the actor was. You'll see. I think it was Barry Nelson, right? Then you got Mandela. So put Nelson, Mandela. Pretty pretty slick. And just the way they this sign that this guy's holding, the way he did this, you could tell it's like the mindset that they have. And then just take a look at the big, you know, some of the key changes that were, you know, like the Luke, I am your father and stuff like that. Look at the types of things that they've changed, you know, because I, I, they haven't changed everything. The changes have not been made across the board to every single thing. It's just certain things. It's like they pick certain things. So you could, you know, to me, it just looks like a clear roadmap or a clear, like somebody's dropping breadcrumbs that they're going to do this. And they want it to be very visible and very evident to many people. You see? So at the same time, you know, this particular effect creates a problem. It creates a division, creates divide and conquer, and that's what all this type of stuff does, especially when they're announcing what they're doing. That's what they're hoping to do. That's why they wanted to let us know the earth was flat as well, you know, and that it's not a spinning ball. They wanted us to know that because they knew that in the end of the day, we're just going to fight back and forth, and we'll probably never get anywhere unless we realize that the most important thing to do is to come together and explore, to fully explore where we live. All right, so I wanted to show you that, and let's proceed with the videos by Scare Performance. So here we go. Let's get it going. Let's get. Let's remember J.C. Penny. I've always known it to be J.C. Penny. Okay, P-E-N-N-Y. It's if you go look at a building right now at the mall, it's gonna say P-E-N-N-E-Y. And right here, I've done a search for J.C. Penny. Now, in all fairness. The JCP and EY is in there as well. So, you know, that exists too. But there are documents where the JCPenney is listed. Um, let's 
go back here. We'll try this. This is a set of bedding. All right. This is for a set of bedding. Actually, I'm describe. Okay. So, we'll look at the images. Let's see here. All right. So, bedding. All right. Look at this. Georgia bedding. Now, this is called the J.C. Penny Spring and Home Values Catalog, 2006, page four. This is the publications used. Mm -hmm. J.C. Penny, right there. Now, how would you mess that up when you're, when you're referencing the, the actual catalog? I mean, this is stuff that you're not going to screw up, guys. So there's that. Let's go back. Did you see that? Now, just to clarify what I'm talking about, if you haven't looked at Mandela, okay, I've got a few things pulled up here for, for this video. And I, I didn't pull up everything, but I'm going to do a few with you here on the video. So I'm going to type in J.C. Penny, okay, on the search. Now you see what automatically happens there. There it is, J.C. Penny with the E Y, okay. And there's your official website with the E Y. And A sounds like a like a noodle or something, you know, it's like something you make pasta with. So you know, look at images. Probably see some of the signs for it and coupons. There it is. That's how we see it today. Look at that. How odd that looks. All right, so there you go, guys. J.C. Penny, the way we see it right now, and and what we what he just found here in the U.S. Patent Office contradicts that and proves that you know people that have had this memory are not crazy. They they know something's amiss. Okay, just like myself with with many of these effects, and I'm not going to say that all of every you know every single effect that people come up with and that I've seen are legit but i'm not going to knock anybody because they might just be remembering because see this this whole mandela effect situation creates that uh i'm pretty sure like if you, i don't think he's looked up ready whip that's one of the ones i want to look up because i remember that one as well because it's not the same as it was that i remember it at this point so well, let's let's go through some of these real quick i don't want this to be too long but i want you guys to get a good firm grasp of what i'm talking about when it comes to evidence that things have been changed do we know how they've done it no and I'm not gonna sit here and speculate why because just like with the flat earth I'm not gonna say we have a model I'm not gonna try and present a model without full exploration so to prove how these people are doing this that's not what's important here what's important is proving to people that this is happening so we can get people you know people to focus their energy on who the heck is doing this and how and why are they doing this to, this to us and if they're doing this, then hmm, maybe they maybe they have lied about where we live. Maybe they have lied about all this other stuff. You see? What's what? So yeah, guys, this is pretty exciting. All right, let's let's watch, watch him look up another one here. That we always, uh, you know, kind of argued over. How about Fruit Loops, right? Oh, there's gotta be some Fruit Loops in there, right? This is a big one. Uh, patent for a tactical identification system for the visually impaired. Right here. May be used to designate Fruit Loops. Just like Very I remember it, isn't it? Fruit. You know, once again, remember, fully scrutinized work here. All right, you guys saw that, right? F U F R U I T, right? Go look up Fruit Loops now. Have you been to the store lately? Try and try and do Fruit Loops on the web here. Fruit Loops. Got this under my mic. Can't see the keys. There it is. F R O O T loops see that look at the images see how the box looks and that's how we see it now when you go to the store but in that US patent office what did it say F R U I T you are filing a patent this could mean millions of dollars maybe even a billion dollar idea nowadays and uh, you're gonna tell me that these guys who go through this stuff and are paid good money to make sure that everything is correct didn't know how to spell Fruit Loops. Because, you know, it's always been fraught, F-R-O-T, right? It's never been fruit. That's been debunked. The idea that they changed the name because of, uh, you know, there was no fruit in it. And it was just a way to protect themselves. Money to make sure that everything is correct didn't know how to spell Fruit Loops. Because, you know, it's always been fraught, F-R-O-T, right? It's never been fruit. All right. Let's go a little ahead here and see. Captain Crunch, here's another one. Remember Rice Krispies. 
Wait, wait. I got a little ahead of myself. He did Captain Crunch. Ready to eat cereals. Right here. Captain Crunch. There it is. Captain. Instead of Captain. And right now it's known as Captain. So if I go look up Captain, you know, Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch. Right? See how it's Captain? Captain? There's no more Captain Crunch now. See that? So there you go. You got that one. Being shown here as as what we remember it as. Captain Crunch. Oh, even they should include the trademark there. Right, so we have Captain Crunch right here. Uh, Rice Krispies. I remember Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies. What do we got? Right down here. Rice Krispies. Cereal. There was a time, more than likely, people remember it being spelled with a C. And, and there was a timeline where it was Rice Krispies with the C. It isn't that way today. It has a K. But there it is, guys, in black and white. And you can see your old reality. It's really cool. Let's see. Which other one do you want to look up? Guy. So we had Steve Jobs of Microsoft, Windows, and we got the Gates Foundation, Warren Buffett. Check this one out. All right. That's not how they spell it now. Watch. He's, he's going to, I know he, he Googles this one. And if you look today, Warren Buffett has two T's. It was, and I think I made a video about this, and I said, hey guys, he had one T in his name, and uh, there it is, the United States Patent Office, pointing out. What do you think about that so far, guys? You know, does this look like it's just a bunch of errors? Uh, you know, people were very incompetent when they were, you know, submitting all this to the U.S. Patent Office? Highly unlikely, guys. Highly unlikely. So let's watch a few more of these. And uh, you know, he's also got part two that he just come up with today. That's what got me excited. I wanted to make this video and I want to go through that one as well. I think he gets into the Volkswagen here. As you know, many of you that looked at this might know about the symbol changing, of course, with the line in the middle of the VW. I always remember it without the line, but the name Volkswagen or the word Volkswagen is also wagon, W-A-G-E-N. And we've always known as Wagon. I think he covers that in this part as well. So I'm going to try and skip through that and watch some more of this. And then we'll, we'll go to part two. Um, I'm not sure what this is in reference to. It's something to do with the device or whatever. But anyway, the point is, they spelled the name Warren Buffett. There's that. Mm, let's see. All right, looking at my page here. I've uh, made claims that it was advanced auto parts. Ah, definitely look at this one. Advanced Auto Parts. See how it says advance? Think about that. I'm going to give you a payday advance. I'm going to give you an advance on a loan, right? How weird is that? I use, I go to Advanced Auto Parts, guys, in my area. I've always called, I've always known it as advanced. It makes more sense that way anyway, don't it? Not anymore. So let's see. What old U.S. Patent Office says here. Works. All right, so let's go back to the database. This patent was filed in 2013, July 16, and in this patent, it points out that the uh, it was advanced auto parts and uh, I guess it's talking about game elements and databases and such but right here advanced auto parts is the way they would have spelled it and the way they remembered it once again these things are scrutinized and read over by attorneys to make sure everything's correct and um, there it is so how about Cracker Jacks
large box items, 38, such as Cracker Jacks. Not Cracker Jack, Cracker Jacks. Heard that, Cracker Jacks. Look it up now, and what do we get? What do we get here? Cracker Jack. See that? Without the S. Silly? I know. It looks really silly. You know, very insignificant changes. But what are these changes designed to do? They're designed to get everybody at each other's throats, calling each other crazy, making you seem like you've lost your mind, especially if you're going to go telling people that the Earth is not a spinning ball, or if you're going to tell them anything else about any other conspiracy like 9-11. Oh, you're one of those nuts that think, you know, that we live in another reality and everything used to be spelled this way and that way and the other. Well, I trust my memory, guys, and these things have changed, and this patent office right there is showing that evidence. So tell everybody you know to watch these videos, and I suggest you guys stop by that patent office and uh, have fun. Start looking up things, other Mandelas and things like that. Check it out. States patent office, baby. How about uh, some of the spiral videos? This was uh, published in 1979, April 10th. Such as box food items, such as Cracker Jacks and other candy items packaged in what are commonly known as feeder pack boxes. Mm. So this was the signing was the Coca-Cola Company. This was a patent filed in 2011, September 20th. So check this out. In this regard, a bottler would have to maintain a supply of Coke labeled bottles, Diet Coke labeled bottles, and Coke Zero labeled bottles. Well, no. Let's Coke Zero, that's another uh, common one right now, that one of the latest ones. Coke Zero, let's see what it says. Coca-Cola Zero. Coca-Cola Zero. Not Coke Zero, but I remember them labeled Coke Zero. All right, so. Oh, we do got a little residual right here. Look at that. Coke Zero. That's a little residual image that's left over. You do see this, right? Don't mean to glow, but e group contains new Coke or glass bottles. All right, so he's, he's basically going to talk about the Coke there. Uh, so and let me see if there's any other interesting ones on this one. Volkswagen. Oh, Volkswagen. This is the one I wanted to show you guys here. You need to come here, Volkswagen. He said, look it up right there. And before we get there, I'll show you what we see here now. If you look up Volkswagen, I want to write it as, right, Volks, Volkswagen. Right? But there's how it's spelled. See it? Do you see that? And that's what he's going to show you here. And see this logo, I always remember it, where it did not have that break in the middle right there. That's one of the biggest things about the Volkswagen. But as you can see, the actual spelling of the name changed as well. So let me show you that in the video real quick, and then we'll move on to part two. Oh no, it's getting late. I'm getting silly. I know. I'm sorry. Come here. There's a bomb. Get down. Right here, look. Such is often the case 
in connection with the automobile in which the motor is mounted adjacent through the rear wheels as in the case of the Volkswagen automobile Volkswagen and there you go okay guys so yeah we're gonna get to part two now he made another video Mandel effect inside the US Patent Office part two and some of the big effects he's gonna cover today are the biggest ones like Chick-fil-A this is how it's shown today C-H-I-C-K I always remember that C-H-I-C without the K uh, Skechers is spelled today S-K-E-C-H-E-R-S I always remember that with a T Skechers like a sketch pad all right we're gonna see that one Febreze should have two E's is the way I remember it we're gonna see that in the patent office Looney Tunes I always remember it with the T-O-O-N-S and today we see it as T-U-N-E-S all right there's Fruit Loops we covered that in the last video uh, but let's go ahead and watch scare performance here on part two and I'll let him do most of the talking and we'll we'll get through some of these real big effects and be sure to share this video guys it's pretty exciting and Who's on over? I'll, I'll put a link to the U.S. Patent Office here on the video on the description box. And you guys can take a look for yourself. So let's watch some more of Scare Performance here. Mandel Effect inside the U.S. PTO Part 2. Hey, party people. Okay, this is just a quick update video from uh, my last video about the United States Patent Office. And I want to uh, say thank you to everybody who is uh, so kind. And man, that's blown me away. Uh, let me tell you something. There is so much more to this thing. And so many other that, that people were pointing out. First, last, I mentioned Skechers and Charles Schultz. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I mean, they were having a lot of fun finding these. I found Febreze, Looney Tunes, Oscar Mayer so far. And, you know, I thought, well, let me make a quick update video. And there were a few things I left out of the other one as far as searching. So, I think you guys are going to enjoy Febreze. This is awesome. Oh, wait, 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 let me go back here. So this is the database right here. I just do, um, the, the link I sent you is some of the game order search bar. But if you click quick link here, uh, we're going to search real quick. Make sure you put it in quotes. Remember Oscar Mayer, everyone kept saying, man, it's, it's M-E-Y-E-R, right? Well, let's look and see. Oh, food packaging. All right. Um, this is Kraft Foods. Yeah. Kraft Foods. You think they would know their you know, who makes Oscar Mayer? It is owned by Kraft Heinz Corporation. Okay. So that's interesting. So let's go back here. Alright. Um right. we'll get to Febreze in a second. Alright, this is by Kraft Foods. You would think they would know how to spell their own product, right? I mean, you know, call me crazy. Call me maybe. But I think that they know how to spell their own stuff. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Ah, right here. Oscar Mayer Lunchables. M E Y E R. Saw that? It's not Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer, M E Y E R. Look at that. Right there, guys. There you go. Definitely. Uh, this is definitely a home run, slam dunk, whatever you want to call it. Um, done deal. Especially when. The uh, assignee is Kraft Foods Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Let's go back here. We've got Febreze. And look what I found. From Proctor. Remember everyone was saying it used to be Proc uh, Proctor with the O. And now it has an E. Found that one. Look at that. There's your Febreze. Remember. See that? See how he finds multiple things? at the same time so you just said Procter & Gamble there as well right so if you look up Procter uh, Procter & Gamble it's gonna he's gonna see that Procter & Gamble look how it's spelled here now nowadays see it with the ER and what do we got here Fee Breeze from Proctor & Gamble of Cincinnati Ohio what do you guys think about that Leave me some comments below, guys. Be sure to follow Scare Performance here. And be sure to share this video. It's pretty exciting. Remember, it's not what you know. It's what you can prove.
Febreze, you weren't crazy people. There it is. Um, it, it, it did exist at one time and now it doesn't. And somehow, you know, it's, uh, it, it was removed from all our bottles. <laughs> it's kind of creepy, but, uh, that's the, uh, that's the reality of what we have to deal with here and uh, something we'll have to talk about later. All right, look what I found. Look what I found. I found the key term. Um, it's uh, talking about... Ah, this one, I'm sure most people, this Mandela effect for most people has been the one that has kept them scratching their heads because most people that I talk to, this blows their mind, especially when you start seeing the VCR tapes and stuff change to know I am your father and everything else that goes along with it you know the silver leg C3PO and all that stuff all those little changes so yeah guys look at that Luke I am your father there's another really good video about that that esoteric detective put out if you look him up he put one up where somebody found a, a Christmas ornament can look Darth Vader and what does he say when you press a little button Luke I am your father he doesn't say no I am your father Luke I am your father right here check that out this one was in regards to AT&T uh, intellectual properties this patent was for systems and method for searching text-based media content well, weird. Why would you want text-based media content? Why would you use that as a uh, as one of your uh, search terms when it didn't exist? Exactly. See that? So why would see that's the whole point? Why would these people be messing up? And why see why would they be messing up, messing around, putting Luke, I am your father, as one of their search terms? Okay, AT and T media. All right. So let's move, let's see if we can skip a little ahead here and shorten this video up and get to another key change here. Let's see. Move a little forward here. Well, sorry. Next. Remember Skechers? Look at the assignee. Is Skechers. And we covered USA. this on the picture earlier. See that? I mean guys, this is the actual document. Check that out, this guys. Proves it. Skechers I mean, USA. Boom. Right there. Okay. Uh, and she spelt it. S K E T C H E R S Skechers. There, there you go, Skechers. All right. Now he's going to show you, show you a picture. What does Skechers look like today? Yeah, Skechers. C H E R S. See that? Just so, like I did earlier. We know that's just, you know, these are ridiculous. Um, All right. There it is, Skechers. It was Skechers. It has been Skechers. Once again, we can talk about reality shifting, multiple universes. You know, there's all kinds of theories out there, uh, but uh, but it did exist. You're not there. You go. See, yeah, all these theories. Remember, in my opinion, here, guys, theories. We could talk about them all day, but the most important thing is people recognizing that this has happened and not falling for the divide and conquer of fighting with people that are trying to show them, hey, check this out. You might want to look at this. You might want to look at. The fact that we are seeing these changes, I want to look into this evidence of a, I'll take it down flat earth because I'm basically been talking about flat earth here on the channel. It all ties into one thing. We have criminals that are lying and deceiving and they have the ability to do these types of things. So how are they doing it? I don't know, but they are doing it. So take a look at it. Not crazy. Chick-fil-A. Look at that. Remember everyone was saying C-H-I-C. Not the K, all right? It was never C H I K. I don't know why that was even brought up. No, it was C H I C dash F I L dash A. All right. Um, there's probably some more in this document you might even notice. Okay. Um, another another great find. Right there where he's at, 
well, he was right there where he was looking. Uh, McDonald's, see? Right next to Chick-fil-A. You see this? There's Chick-fil-A, C-H-I-C-F-L-F-I-L-A, the way I told you. I remembered it, not C-H-I-C-K. But when you see McDonald's right next to it, it still has the, you know, the McDonald's, Mickey D's and all that. I've always remembered it that way. I think, I think that was one of the cases where people pronounce it a lot as Mac, McDonald's, you know, like the Big Mac. And I think that confused a lot of people. Um, but like, for instance, I've seen somebody uh, come up with a video about Adidas trying to say um, that it had two D's in it, you know, add Adidas, you know, and I'm like, no. I remember Adidas because when I was younger, we, there was a catchy um, acronym that people used to do with that back in the day. So uh, I do remember that was like drilled into my head. So I know that wasn't a, in my, you know, in my opinion, in my memory. And so far, my memory has been pretty accurate because of all this patent office stuff matching up with it. Um, I remember Adidas with only one D. So. So that's what I'm saying. So understand, guys. And I'm not saying that people that are putting out these videos that might think something changed and, you know, possibly really didn't change. I'm not saying they're bad for that. I'm just saying they might just be thinking that because this is a very uh, confusing topic. And it's and it can drive, you know, it can just get your mind running a million miles an hour, like thinking, wow, you know, oh, my God, this change, this thing, you know, it, it can make people nervous and they can start seeing changes that aren't really there. But there are legit changes, and and these video, this video here should be highlighting those changes very clearly. So I don't know how anybody can refute this particular evidence. Okay, so uh, take a look at it and show anybody you know that's been skeptical about this Mandela effect. Show them this video. More in this document, you might even know it's okay. um, another another great find. Oh, check out this. this some more in this doc. All right. So, C H I C. Yeah. K. Chick fil A. Look at that. Remember? Everyone was saying C H I C, not the K. I just wanted to make sure he, that you heard the part where we talked about it, about the Chick fil A. What he remembers, everybody thought it, you know, when everybody was arguing and saying that it changed to the new sign, saying that we just misremembered. I think a lot of people got confused with that one because they eat more chicken. Okay, and, and that particular adver advertisement that you saw on billboards all over your, you know, most likely in your areas, you saw the same billboards. They were all over the place for Chick-fil-A. You know, eat more chicken, you know, and they misspelled that. And, you know, now this word change or this particular name title changed and title of the business. And people are like, what's, you know, it's just driving crazy because was it, wasn't it C-H-I-C and there's no evidence of it changing for any reason? So... Here you go, guys. These are some big changes that are, you know, and this evidence is pointing to those things being changed. So, share it. Get this video out. All right. It was never C H I K. I don't know why that was even brought up. No. It was C H I C dash F I L dash A. All right. There it is. Um, there's probably some more in this document you might even notice. Okay. Um, another, another great find. Oh, check out this. This is for a, um, let me go up here and see. This is for a uh, Pat, this is an analogies board game. All right, come down here. You look, you know. Charles Schultz. About how you would, you know, set up the questions. That was uh, another. got Charlie Brown right here, and then they reference right here, uh, I guess is one of the answers, Charles Schultz. Remember that? Now it's Schultz. Yeah. Exactly. I remember it, Schultz. I remember reading the comics in the newspaper growing up and seeing that name. There it is, guys. Charles Schultz, right there. Okay, next one. Remember how all of us were saying no? It's Looney Tunes. T O O N S, like a cartoon. Tunes, you know, Looney Tunes. No, no, no. It's Tunes. People were saying no. It's T T U N E S because you know they sing and. You know, they're, they're always performing. Yeah, well, no. No, sorry. Nope. And there you go, as I was showing you earlier, what he's talking about with Looney Tunes. They're saying it's this. You see? And there's no evidence of them changing this or making a logo change or a name change for any reason, so... 
you know, that's the problem, guys. There's no, you know, you would think, well, someone could debunk this real easy by saying, well, you know, it's just something they change, and you guys are just not noticing that they change it somewhere down the line, and it's definitely documented. No, it's not documented. That's the problem. Just like they never told us exactly where we live here, they lied about it. Same thing here, guys. Same thing here. So if you're having a hard time conveying any type of conspiracy to someone, why don't you hit them up with the Mandela effect? Hit them up with this video and test them. This is an easy one. All you got to do is test what they remember. You can start talking about these old topics. Hey, man, what was it at Looney Tunes? What was that? How did we spell that show? You know, that cartoon Looney Tunes? See what they say. Do that quiz. Mirror, mirror on the wall. What do they remember? Magic mirror. Get them to, to list a whole bunch of the most common ones. Luke, I am your father. All that stuff. Especially if they've never heard of the Mandela. Get them to do all that and then blow their mind and show them all this. If they... You see, if they, because some people are going to, what's going to happen is you're going to run into people that, especially a lot of the younger people, they've seen these things change as to what they are now. And they're going to, you know, and I've seen this happen. I've done this test. They're going to think that, uh, that no, it was always that, you know, and then you start blowing their mind. We start showing them this history. So I'm going to let this play out and uh, end this video here. It was T-O-O-N-S, Looney Tunes. And let's see who's going to sign in on this one. Uh, I didn't really say. It's just a pad for Charles Entertainment Storage and Storage Stand. Okay? So they make reference to Looney Tunes. Right there. And like, why would you? Because apparently in this reality, it's always been T-U-N-E-S. There's no reason to call it T-O-N-S. So, there's that. So there it is, guys. And I just wanted to show you these quick updates real fast. I just want to put out a, a special uh, shout out to uh, First Last for this one. I really appreciate it. Okay, guys. So, uh, you know, this has been a rather long video, but, you know, I think it was very uh, important to get this out. I wanted to share both of those at the same time. I just didn't want to just, you know, I could have just mirrored the videos, but I wanted to add my input because I've been wanting to talk about this subject for a while. And, um, you know, I, I, this video made it possible because I've always wanted to have a way that I could kind of show everything, you know, because I'm all about, as you see, I'm all about the evidence that we can show when it comes to like the flat earth and any other thing, you know, back in the day with 9-11, the same thing. I always was pointing out the evidence, you know, World Trade Center 7, always the hardcore facts, you know, just to put them out there. And same thing here, same thing. So basically, guys, I want you guys to share this video. If you've been curious about this Mandela effect, I think this is going to be mind-blowing for you and you know if you've been on the fence about it not sure about whether or not things have changed um, for me this more than confirms the changes I you know I pretty much was positive that things have changed I just didn't know how to go about really putting this out there wasn't too worried about it but I wanted to do this now because this thing covered a lot of the key changes it's a great video by scared performance I appreciate it thank you very much scared performance for that video and I'm glad to go ahead and share this with my audience and point them in your direction. Hope you get some more subs. Keep putting out the great content. And to all my subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Uh, give me some thumbs up down below. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you think about these changes. And please be sure to share this with everyone. Keep waking them up. Keep telling people to, how important it is to fully explore. And let's get those numbers. Can't do anything without the numbers, guys. We need the numbers. Remember, models, maps, we can't prove anything until we get out there on the ground, out in the field, and prove it. For that, we need big numbers of people from every landmass with the same concept and the same plan. And in, and in my mind, that's going south. Take it easy, guys. See you in the next video. Who am I? I'm the unsilent majority, Big Mouth. Who? The unsilent majority. The unsilent majority. Oh my, I'm the unsilent majority. Big mouth good. The unsilent majority. Oh my, I'm the unsilent majority. Big mouth good. The unsilent majority.
the unsilent majority. Thank you.